In today's video, I will tell you why you should complete this Tavernier SBC because not only is he a good card, and I'll explain to you why he's good value, we'll compare it with another right back to give you a comparison of how much he costs versus how much he probably should cost. There's also a Ryan Ken SBC inside of the Tavernier SBC, so some really interesting content today. I'm your boy Slater, to do the content review in two minutes and 20 seconds or less. Let's get into this video. So we have a 90 pace, Club 80 Tavernier card, right? He's a right back in the Scottish Premier League. He plays for Rangers and he's English nationality. He's four star skill with three star weak foot, high medium work rates. He can play right back and right wing back. And he's obviously a nice looking card. He's got, he's another card that once again, I would look at and maybe say either he is a really good right back or clearly if you look at the stats could be a phenomenal midfielder. He has a bunch of uh, traits as well, swerve pass outside the foot shot, um, early cross, all these different things. We of course have marking matchups before I, I'm going to spend the rest of the video on Tavernier. So and Ryan Kent as well. So here we go. Internally, you don't need anything like the FCM and FC20 players. There's The only teams that you need players from are Napoli, Juve, and then Man U and Man City. And obviously, those will not rise in price the same way those other ones did. Internally, you have a small prime, a prime mix, a jumbo, a small gold player pack, and then an externally, a rare electrum pack. And you should do this because you should be saving packs or at least building packs for team of the year or something along those lines. We have a draft token upgrade. This is half the price of regular draft token. There you go. So Tavernier's got an 82 team of the team of the week for the first squad, and it gives you a Ryan Ken. We'll go check out his card, which is sick, right? That's awesome content for me. I absolutely adore when they do this type of stuff. And then we have an 84 in a team of the week for a 15K pack, and that's pretty reasonable. So let's go jump over first to Ryan Kent. He is a nice looking card. He's four star weak foot, um, four star skill moves, five star weak foot. He is a left wing or a left mid. They have a you know perfect link, uh, which in both English, both Rangers, Scottish Premier League. It, internally, he would, I think, need a marksman. It boosts those shooting and uh, long shots because look at how low his uh, reactions and ball control and dribbling are. 81, 79, 83 is really, really low. So I think you need that marksman to get that up to 85, 87, and 91. That makes him a really balanced and great like wing player. His passing isn't great, but I just don't think you can address all this criteria he needs in one little um, chem style. That's what I would do with Ryan Kent. As we move forward to James Tavenier, I like this SPC a lot. He's 64,000 coins in terms of his current cost. If you go into his actual card, I do wish he had four-star weak foot. I think that would make this card crazy versatile, right? Because I almost feel like I would play him in the midfield personally. But when you look at the card, he's got really nice pace splits. He's got good balanced dribbling stats. He's got really nice, um, just everywhere is good. There's nothing that you look at the card and you go, oh, like he's really missing X, right? That's not existing with this card. And since that is the case, I think a lot of people put a shadow on him. I think that's going to be the most common thing you're going to see people do um, is a shadow to play him at right back or they put an anchor on him if I can find wherever an anchor is. Um, he can technically get lengthy with an architect, but I don't think that matters anymore. He, he put an anchor on them to make this like physical and uh, defending stats a little more balanced. I actually think that a guardian looks really great on him and I would play him in the midfield. I love the idea of making him just a demon defender, like defensive stats boosting that way and then getting him 98 balance 86 ball control and 98 dribbling. That I'm a little bit different the way that I play this game, so that's where my mind kind of rings to because I do think his stats are all good enough to be kind of where they are anyways. You could only really put an artist on him if you want to get way more um, into those stats or maybe even if you want to an engine if you want to play him in the midfield and just make him uh, you know 90, 91 dribbling, really good pace splits. I think this card has a lot of versatility. The reason why I would complete him too is because if you compare him to Wambasaka, which we've done this before with a previous player, Wambasaka is three-star, two-star, he's four-star, three-star. Wambasaka is 60K. Now, granted, he is in the Premier League, but look at the stats. They're almost identical. 90, 83, 90, 83. Um, he's got 86 defending. He's got 80 defending, but he has way more physical, 87, 83. The key component here is he has 85 passing and 82 shooting to his 57 and 75. So when you think about the value of those two cards matching up next to each other and the fact that if you do James Tavernier, you get a Ryan Ken SBC in between and you get a 15K pack back as well, it just makes this card 10x more valuable and 10x better than that, you know, Wamba Soccer or a lot of other right back cards that are in the game. I think this is a great SBC. I would complete both segments if I were you and get that Tavernier and Ryan Kent into your club. I like it a lot. And then finally, we'll jump over here to our milestone section of everything. We actually have a new um, uh, loading screen too, which I'll show you. Centurion Century of Matches. Sadly, although this is great content, it's free packs. I'm, I'm not complaining about that at all. You get all the way to a 584 plus and 81 by 11 and of course some internal packs. Sadly, it's squad battles or rivals. It, you know, the other ones we had were just like goals scored no matter what they were in. I wish this would have just been games. You have nine days to complete it. It's free. Like you will get these packs, right? So it's good. I just wish they were like whatever games. So that way you know, your qualification games, your foot champs games also would matter. And you could get these packs pretty easily before team of the year. Sadly, that's not the case, but it is still free packs. And we do appreciate that from EA. Let's jump back over here and I will show you our loading screen. If you've stayed this long, if you've made it this long in the video, 
hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. It is greatly appreciated. We are nearing 700 subs now, which is a number I did not think I'd say two weeks ago um, on the channel. So thanks so much for the support. I'm going to try and get you a loading screen because it looks like it's going to be a way juicier Team 2 just based on the loading screen than Team 1 of the Centurions. And hopefully it is. Uh, for those that are opening packs, come on EA, don't uh, don't hate on me here. I need I need that little loading screen because I think we're gonna get an Ebra. You know, you think about the highest rated. There it is. Okay, so I think Ebra's gonna be on the left most likely. Please, right? And then we have a 93 rated right wing. When you think about the highest rated card in this one was a 91 Neymar. It looks like they are gonna juice Team Two way more than Team One. So there's your video. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope these guys. Hope this video helped you in some way, shape, or form. We'll catch you for a video tomorrow. Peace.